Hi, I'm Dave Iker and welcome to the universe. Today we're going to talk about whether Pluto should be called a planet or a dwarf planet. So turn on your mind and get ready for the real reality show. In 1930, Clyde Tombaugh, a Kansas farm boy working at Lowell Observatory, discovered the solar system's ninth planet, Pluto. 76 years later, the International Astronomical Union demoted Pluto to dwarf planet status, including an ambiguous claim that the planet doesn't clear its orbit of smaller bodies. Huh? The fear was that huge numbers of small icy planets like Pluto would eventually be found. Do we really want to add lots of planets to the solar system? Pluto orbits the sun and is large enough to be spherical, two requirements for planetary status. But this business of clearing its orbit of smaller bodies is messy. A house is a house whether it's in the city or the country. Shouldn't a planet be a planet wherever it is? If Earth were at a Pluto-like distance of 40 astronomical units for the Sun, it wouldn't clear its orbit of smaller bodies. Would Earth then not be a planet? To make matters worse, in 2010, astronomers found the first Earth-Trojan asteroid, trailing us in our orbit. So Earth doesn't clear its orbit even where we are. The IAU definition, then, is sloppy, vague, and ill-conceived. Planetary science done by astronomers. Alan Stern, Mark Bowie, and other planetary scientists have publicly criticized the IAU Pluto decision. They point out that many other large moons, like our moon, Ganymede, Titan, and Callisto, are thought of as planets by planetary scientists. Stars orbit stars, so why can't planets orbit planets? Is it time to bring Pluto back as a full fledged planet? Well, dwarf planets are planets too. I'll see you next time on The Real Reality Show.